Welcome to the Solicam University channel. This video's topic is working with configurations. So as an add-on to SolidWorks, we actually can utilize the configurations you would have created in the SolidWorks design model. And uh, for this part here, let me just show you what I have in terms of configurations. I have the default and I have double the size of the square and the circle. And because that's part of the original design, we could use it here in terms of programming. And the way we actually use it is almost by default because uh, as you've seen from other videos from SolidCam, we use the actual geometry on the screen. We use the actual SolidWorks model in our programming, which means that in this pocketing operation, these two contours being the edges of the solid, they are also part of the configuration. So what do I mean by that? Well, because I chose the solid edges of those pockets as the geometry for my pocketing geometries, as soon as I go and change to the double size configuration, it automatically recalculates off of the new geometry. So again, it's almost like I did a change model reference, but I did it using configuration. So automatically, those that toolpath with those two pockets automatically adjusted itself to the new geometry. Now, how did I get it to do that automatically? Well, that is actually a function of the settings. So when we're talking about using configurations, we're actually talking about setting the settings to do that for me. So if we take a look at this, Check and synchronization always is usually the default setting. Now, specifically what I've done with this part level setting is I've told it to synchronize automatically. So it's constantly checking for the synchronization. And as soon as it does that, to calculate after the synchronization. So I changed the configuration, that geometry has changed. SolidCam has synchronized to that new geometry and recalculated the operations to that geometry. Now, what geometry is it trying to synchronize to? We can see on the bottom here. So synchronization when design model configuration changes. I've changed the configuration and I've told it to associate the geometries with the current configuration, meaning that whatever configuration I choose from the configuration list ends up being the current one. What you normally have is keep configuration associated to parent geometry. Uh, parent configuration. And that is the default setting for when you do things like set up a configuration as the stock. Say you had a configuration that where you've suppressed a hole or something like that. That's where you could use configurations for setting up a stock. The stock that, uh, configuration could be stock. And then when you go to do your programming, you set your target as the target configuration. So that's one way to use configurations. But most people, when they're asking about using configurations, they're talking about this where they're creating a family of parts and there's one parameter that changes the whole geometry. So this is actually in milling. So let me close this down and we'll cover how configurations work in turning. So now I have a part here, and with this part, I actually have a series of configurations here. So we start with a one inch diameter, and then I have differing sizes here. Now, the way to get turning configurations to work is a little different. Um, we still use the geometry we have on screen, but in this case, what we're doing is we're actually using the other option called solid, rather than the wireframe where we actually choose the lines and arcs from the target profile, you actually use the solid profile here. And if I just show you the geometries there, I told it to start from this face and end on this face. And it generates a profile that goes from one face to the other. By doing so, we still get the same sort of tool paths we're familiar with for the inside and the outside. Now, using that solid option for choosing geometries, I can now use configurations. So let's say we go from the one inch to three quarter inch. I've changed the geometry, and because this is turning, it has to recalculate the target profile. But in my geometries, I'm not actually using the target profile. That's kind of just the carryover from the default settings. I'm actually using those solid faces. And you saw, as soon as I changed the solid itself, the geometry has updated the toolpath, and the toolpath is updated. So let's actually go to something a little more extreme. Let's go to the half inch. You see, again, it really shrinks down that half inch diameter right there, and all these toolpaths update. Okay, so that outer turning has expanded and the inner turning looks like it's shrunk a little bit. And if we go to the largest size in the configuration, we'll just let that update. And we'll see that the outer turning is much less and the inner turning is much more. Okay. So again, the configurations in turning 
You can utilize that just by using the solid option. Any other questions on this or anything else from SolidCam, you can always watch the rest of the videos on the YouTube channel, or you can call us back at 1-866-975-1115, extension 2. You can send us your parts or your questions via the ticket system at solidcamsupport.com, or uh, again, watch the rest of the videos in the, in the series of SolidCam University videos on the YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.